In the late 15th century, there was a virtual exploration bug, and the Florentines, being merchants, were quick to participate. So when Emerigo Vespucci set sail in 1499 and he found the New World, he also gave it its name, America. Amerigo Vespucci provided detailed accounts of the exotic culture and customs that he discovered there. Today, we are much less likely to discover as Amerigo Vespucci did way back in the 15th century, because today, in the 21st century, exploration has taken on new meanings. 2012 is the year Vespucci, marking the 500th anniversary since the Florentine explorer's death and the local English language magazine, The Florentine, has been exploring with Vespucci through a monthly column on this topic, as well as through a recent event. The event was organized to tell the stories and experiences of modern day navigators. It is the fourth annual Toscana Inn English Night, organized by the nonprofit business networking organization in Florence and Tuscany called Toscana Inn. For speakers Kerala, Hapt, and Ilaria Gadens, sound is an essential factor in the way we experience space, and their presentation suggested how we might become aware of the city around us through sound. For speaker Marco Badiani, director of the Florentine and photographer, exploration is what we see and the attitude with which we see it. I'm a photographer, so I'm an explorer in the sense of taking pictures. And in a more, uh, I mean, uh, personal uh, style, I'm a gatherer of unexpected beauty around me. So I'm actually just an observer, a little bit more curious than normally people are. And so I'm gathering a lot of uh, things that are there to be seen and to be uh, uh, put in, a, in, a, in my screen of the camera. And then just in a second moment, my inspiration become a story because it's based on my uh, sen sensitivity of seeing reality and uh, this in a second moment when I'm doing the editing I see that form a, like a red line, have a story and become uh, something that has a sense, my aspiration. A visual approach is also taken by another photographer who is at the event virtually. Kirsten Alana is a famous professional photographer who uses her iPhone almost exclusively. She spoke about how she, a New Yorker, explored Italy. Exploration can be taken less literally and less physically, as is the case in Federico Moro's work with the Robert F. Kennedy Center for Justice and Human Rights in Florence. He spoke of how he and his colleagues explore human rights across the world. The last speaker, art historian Maurizio Serracini's exploration has fascinated both National Geographic and the international press for years. He's been exploring behind the wall of Palazzo Vecchio in search of Leonardo da Vinci's lost painting, The Battle of Anghiari. We all explore in different ways, just like Vespucci. Students on a study abroad program are also explorers. They explore cities, cultures, languages, people, and new ways of life. So find the explorer in you and enjoy Florence.